Dur, dur, dur, dur. Ya dur, dur, dur. Dur ama. Anne orku attın her aya. Çaldırttın sen. Sen her mi öldü? Ya. Ya. Malay. Ya kanlı ödür sen. Ya. Soy. Ustad perim lan. Ne oldu ustad? Ne oldu lan? Ne oldu ya? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Ne Görünür, görünür hamda. Ya, kum var dağda bu da? Amin bey, kum var dağda yok. Yok bana. Yok bana dokunma. Vay ana. Dokunma. Dokunma. Dokunma. Dokunma. Dokunma. Dokunma. İyi, her şey yıllık oldu. Aa, bak da erler. Russia cannot protect its warplanes from Ukrainian attacks so it will have to lose more fighters. It is becoming increasingly clear that a Ukrainian UAV seriously damaged and possibly destroyed a Russian Air Force Su-57 fighter in the Astrakhan region of the Russian Federation at the Aktubinsk airfield. According to Forbes, Russian Air Force has concentrated many of its best combat aircraft at the Aktuba State Flight Test Center, including the new Su-35 fighters, Okotnik drones, and of course the Su-57, which is Russia's answer to the American Lockheed Martin F-22 stealth fighter. Back in 2019, there were at least six twin-engine supersonic Su-57s at that airfield. Ground crews regularly parked jets in the open air, prompting strong protest from the popular Russian aviator Forum Fighter Bomber. Their telegram channel was outraged why, after 28 months of Russia's war against Ukraine, the Air Force had not built reliable shelters for its valuable aircraft. At the same time, fighter bomber confirmed that the Su-57 received shrapnel damage during Saturday's raid. For the price of this Su-57 alone, you could build a shelter, noted fighter bomber, adding that only if you don't intimidate contractors along the way and don't give kickbacks. The shortage of reinforced aircraft shelters is not exclusively a Russian problem. The Ukrainians also have a bad habit of occasionally parking their military aircraft out in the open at airfields within range of Russian Landsat drones. But the Ukrainians are striking Russian airfields more effectively than the enemy, thanks in large part to the growing stockpile of long-range unmanned aerial vehicles and the relative lethargy of the Russians in decision-making. Ukrainian Air Force commanders frequently, sometimes more than once a day, scatter their planes across a vast network of small airfields and even highway runways, all in a preemptive effort to make it more difficult for Russian raids on parked planes. At the same time, the Russians do not do this. Usually, when they change base, it is the result of a long-planned move. This often occurs in response to certain bases being constantly targeted by Ukrainian missiles or drones. With its airfield, laboratories, large test areas, shooting ranges and intriguing new bunker complexes, the Aktuba State Flight Test Center has become one of the most valuable assets for the Russian Ministry of Defense, claims a Dutch aircraft surveillance website, Scramble. The Su-57s are there because it is the best and perhaps only place to test all the qualities of these jets. The Russian Air Force may not be able to remove the surviving Su-57s from Aktubinsk without jeopardizing the development of the type. But if they assess the danger, they might take fighter bombers' advice and build some shelters. The Ukrainian side hopes that Russian aviation will not listen to this reasonable advice.